What it do, what it do, YouTube fam. Uh, this is your boy D Life. Just saying good day. Coming to you with another word of encouragement. And it's coming from 1 John chapter 4, verse 4. And it goes something like this We are God's little children and have overcome them. For greater is he that's what they mean. The heat is in the world. Now, that says it right there. We're his children. I have overcome them. Overcome every obstacle, every different difficult task that comes our way. We have overcome them. But guess what? Greater is he that's within you than he that's in the world. He is the greater. He's the sovereign one. He is the great I am. The Prince of Peace, the Mighty God, the Rose of Sharon, the Lily of the Valley, the Bright and Morning Star. Ha. Ah, he's sovereign. He's all everywhere. He's all knowing, omnipotent, omnipresent. I mean he's everywhere. And that means if we're his children and have overcome them, because greater. Greater, that's that key word. Greater is he that's within you than he that's in the world. And when he's within you and you within him, that goes back to the scripture now. And John she said, what was that? Abide in me and my word abide in you. That means that word means abode, abide. It means to take resident. To allow resident, the Lord to take resident within your heart through his Holy Spirit. And allow you to uh, take residence in him by resting in him and giving everything to him and being that living sacrifice that he had told us about earlier when I had um, given the scripture in Romans 12 and 1. So um, we got to learn to just rest in him and give everything over to him. Because guess what? He is the greater one. The battles are not ours. You know that. So greater is he that's within you than he that's in the world. We shouldn't be fearing nobody but God. Not man. No, not even that. That goes even back to let nothing separate us from the love of God. For greater is he that's within you than he that's in the world. He's great above all things. Greater. That means he's bigger than anything. He's bigger than than the biggest bully, he's bigger than cancer, he's bigger than COVID, he's bigger than all. Uh, God is big. He's a, we serve a big and mighty God. And guess what? If he, if he, he, you know, if you go through it, God will see you through it. He's not gonna put too much on you that you can't bear. So that's why we got to realize that we are His little children. And have overcome them. Overcome. Overcome meaning to overcome, you know, a task to conquer a task. Or to be victorious over um, something. Victorious. Over a, a stumbling block or a hurdle that tries to come your way. Cut me victorious. We are overcomers. That's why he tells us in the scripture, we are overcomers by the what the word of the, um, the blood of the lamb and the words of our testimony and loving not our life unto death so what we got to realize when we learn to cast everything on him guess what God's gonna take care of us he's gonna see us through he's gonna you know when, when it's dark he's that light at the end of the tunnel my brother my sisters Greater is he that's within you than he that's in the world. No devil in hell has nothing over our God. Don't you realize Satan is nothing but a fallen angel? And that he was cast out of heaven? So he can't be God. Only way he can be God, or only way that he can have control if we allow it in if we allow it the thing is there's no way for no, no reason why we should allow things in 
I mean, our flesh is weak, yes. But we don't have to dwell on it. We can move on. Let go, let God, and I mean, constantly, and I can't say that enough. We got to continue to let go and let God, let him do him, let God do him. Step back and let God take control. With that being said, stay encouraged, keep your head up, and know that God is right there with you. He said he'll never leave you, nor forsake you. This is your boy D. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. So let's make it a great day. Till we meet again, peace.